Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Google Docs interface on the web. And this was launched in late 2014, early 2015. And one of the big differences uh, with this version of Google Docs compared to previous versions of Google Docs is it pretty much looks the same whether you're looking on the web or you're using a mobile device. Um, you have a pretty simple menu layout here. And then down here you have a button to create a new document. It's exactly the same way it works on the um, on the Google Docs mobile app for iOS or Android devices. But I'm just going to give a quick rundown of what all the different things do and you know the most important functions that you'll want to know. First, one thing that's important to uh, keep in mind is that Google Docs at docs.google.com it only shows um, Google Docs formatted files as well as Word files. You won't see any other type of um, file if it doesn't belong to those two uh, those those two formats. Now, if you do want to find other types of files, such as a PDF, um, these are text files, comma separated files, and of course other uh, Google Google Docs and Drive formats, such as Google Sheets or uh, PowerPoint presentations. You should use Google Drive, which has a much more robust interface. But uh, let's just talk about Google Docs for now. So you'll see thumbnails of the different files that are available. If you want to change the view to list view, press this button up here. And then you'll see a list view, which is easier for some people to sort through. A very important button to, uh, to keep in mind is this one. This, the three vertical dots, and that basically opens up more options. So you can uh, remove it to the trasher area, you can rename it, or you can open it in a new tab. And if you go back to the icon view, you'll see that as well. It's located here. A um, couple other files. This three horizontal bars, that basically serves the, um, the menu options. And basically on Google Docs, it means you can switch to sheets, slides, and drive and then alter a few different types of settings. AZ, that changes how it's sorted uh, alphabetically uh, or last opened by me. So, so the default is, is this, uh, but then you can also sort it alphabetically by selecting title. And then this folder here, you'll notice that in Google Docs, unlike Google Drive, which is really focused on folders and the stuff you put in there, Google Docs doesn't show any by default, but if you do want to uh, look through them, you can use the a file picker, and basically, by default, it will show uh, you know what's in your drive, and that's in a certain folder. But you can also do things like upload files. So if you had a Microsoft Word document you wanted to put into Google Docs, you could you could drag it from your My Documents or your Finder and just uh, drag it here, or use the Select button, and it will open up a dialog to choose the file that you want. So that's a basic rundown of how Google Docs works. Of course, if you want to open something up and just to uh, you know to start to start typing, just click on it. It opens up. It opens right up, and you are set to go once it start once it uh, once it makes the connection. So my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. Lots more tips and tricks in the book, which you can get at in30minutes.com or search on your favorite online store such as Amazon, barnesandnoble.com, or uh, iTunes. Thanks very much for watching.